As you recall in an earlier training video, where we go to Entrant or Actuals, it's basically going to be the tracking table. But you can be in any view and pull up the tracking table. Like for example, let me come over here and right click on the view bar and go to the Gantt chart and say, OK, I want to go ahead and uh, change the table here to the tracking. Come up here and right click on the table header cell, which is the blank cell there. You can go to tracking. Then I'm going to come over here and click and drag the split bar so I can see less of the chart, more of the table. In fact, while we're here, let's go ahead and update the fifth task, interview subject matter expert, market complete. And you can do it many ways. You can go ahead and enter in the actual start and finish dates, which the actual start, if it's the planned date, will be the following, well, after this task has been completed on Friday the 10th. So this one should start on Monday the 13th. So you can enter that in or type in 100% here or come up here on the task tab to the schedule group and click on 100%. You can see it does the calculation, fills in 100%. The plan was the 13th and to end on the 14th, two days, says two days. And then the calculation, the cost, and the actual work, I can go ahead and undo that and say, okay, when I undo that, it actually takes the text within the cell here and wraps it around so you can see it within the cell, which stretches the entire row. Well, that's okay. Let's come over here and if I type in 16 hours, well, eight hours a day, so eight times two is 16. So when I type in 16, it marks the complete finishes on the 14th, you know, Monday's the first day and Tuesday's the second day. Again, project will automatically calculate the actual and remaining work and cost for resources assigned to the task. If you want to do this manually and you don't want it to automatically calculate for you, then you want to come up here and click on the file tab, go down to options, come up here and select the schedule category, and then let's go ahead and scroll down here. And then the calculation options for this project section you want to uncheck updating task status updates resource status and well you can read more about that but I like project to go ahead and automatically do the calculations for me I mean I don't want to go through that otherwise I have to pull out a calculator and for me project is great at being the calculator that it is but in any case it's up to you I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video